Friday, my Young and the Restless fans, TGIF, we made it to the end of the week, and we have our Friday cliffhanger to talk about, so let's get to it. First, Tucker is determined that nothing is going to stop him from destroying the Abbots. We also see Billy confronts Tucker with damaging emails. Phyllis tells Jack where to go. Danny and Daniel hope that Phyllis can redeem herself. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless recap for September 29th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So we start out this episode over at Jabot where we see a conversation happening where Jack is talking to Billy and Diane who seem both concerned. Diane expresses her worries about the account suspecting Phyllis's involvement. Now Billy tells Jack about his suspicions that Phyllis might just be working with Tucker to undermine them. Jack wonders why only Billy is being targeted but Billy suggests it's because he's afraid that he might revert to his old ways. Billy brings up Jack meeting with Adam, which Jack had forgotten about. Jack checks his phone and emails and says, yep, we hit the jackpot with information Adam provided about Tucker's cover-up. Jack shares the details of the cover-up with Billy, who is taken aback and calls it sleazy. He's surprised Adam even gave him the information for free. Jack reminds Billy, you know what, transfer that money back into the Jabot accounts. And Billy wonder if Jack suspect him actually of maybe trying to embezzle. So now we're over at Crimson Lights, where Tucker wanders into deep in thought about his plan to punish the Abbots for ruining his future with Ashley. Flashback scenes show Tucker discussing his secret plan with Audra. Tucker startles Audra as he approaches her in line at the coffee shop. They order espressos from Esther, who isn't too pleased to see them together. Audra tells Tucker about her clash with Nikki, which she asserted her independence and did not let Nikki be her mentor. Tucker advises Audra, you better distance yourself from Nikki and assures her that joining him on the Jabot Express won't be a problem. Now, Tucker explains to Audra that he's orchestrating a scheme to make it look like Billy is embezzling, expecting the Abbots to suspect the involvement. Audra realized that the items Tucker planted in the gossip columns are part of that diversion. Tucker expresses his determination to take away everything valuable from the Abbott since they cost him his relationship with Ashley. Audra suggests that Tucker's revenge might be coming from a place of hurt, but Tucker dismisses that idea, believing Ashley betrayed him. Audra teases Tucker about his feelings for Ashley and her disbelief that he will go back to her even if he's given a chance. Tucker remained resolute in his mission to dismantle the Abbots, declaring that nothing is going to stop him. Well, now we're over at the Jazz Lounge where Danny sits down at the bar with Phyllis and they engage in this awkward small talk. Now, Danny is surprised to see Phyllis even alive, recalling her death the last time they were in that room. Phyllis, of course, blames it all on Stark. Danny is skeptical though of Phyllis' redemption and points out the harm she caused to those who cared about her. Phyllis asks for Danny's forgiveness and wonder why she cares about his opinion. Daniel joins them creating a bit of a family reunion. Danny fills him in on Phyllis' redemption act and her, his skepticism. Now Daniel asks Phyllis if she'll take him up on the job offer suggesting that this could be her second chance. At the table Daniel expresses his lack of trust in his mother due to her past actions. Danny and Daniel discuss the music Danny is working on and mention Christine's absence in Genoa City. And he now finds out that Christine is trying to work things out with Paul. Earlier, Jack arrived over at the lounge staring at Phyllis, creating a tense atmosphere. Jack asks for a private conversation with Phyllis, assuring the others that she's not in any immediate danger. Jack confronts Phyllis about her involvement with Tucker and hack it into Jabot. Phyllis denies any wrongdoing and becomes defensive, and Jack demands answers, sensing her guilt. Phyllis, frustrated, tells Jack that he is clueless and tells him, go to hell. Oh, Jack, I mean, you did tell her that she was dead to you, so yeah. 
Anyway, Diane and Billy have a conversation as she approaches Billy and inquires about their plan to deal with Tucker. Billy is evasive about the plan and Diane asks how close he came to taking Tucker's offer to take over Jabot. Billy claimed he resisted temptation and suggested they move past this issue since there are more significant threats to handle. Diane heads over to the lounge as Jack continues to question Phyllis. Phyllis tells Jack that she despises Tucker and asks what more she has to do to prove it. Jack challenges Phyllis to prove her commitment by hacking into McCall's system now. And finally, we have this confrontation between Billy and Tucker. Tucker returns to his suite and is confronted by Billy, who reveals that he knows about the cover-up and has incriminating emails. Billy threatened to expose Tucker unless he back off. The tension escalates as this confrontation unfolds. In my opinion, I wouldn't have revealed that so quickly because that's exactly what Tucker wanted him to do. So yeah, it looked like Tucker is playing chess and the Abbots are playing checkers. Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Friday, September 29th, 2023. Stay tuned for the Bold and the Beautiful recap also for today. And until the next episode, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.